Today I'm going to share with you everything you'll need to know to ride Disney's Hollywood Studios Tower of Terror as a plus size person. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I am Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother, bringing you all the magic Disney and Florida has to offer plus size people. And I've finally done it. I rode Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios for the very first time. And I'm excited to share with you everything I learned to help you feel more comfortable and confident riding as a plus size person. I'm going to start off by sharing a little bit of information about myself to help you make the best decision for yourself regarding this ride. I am 5 feet 4 inches tall. I weigh 350 pounds. I wear a size 30, 32 and US women's sizes or a 4, 5X. Hopefully that will give you an idea of what size I am in comparison to you and give you an idea if this ride will work for you. I did find this ride to be very comfortable and very plus size friendly and I think someone much larger than myself and much, much taller than myself would also feel comfortable on this ride. Even though this ride is indeed very plus size friendly, I think there's some additional key information you're going to want to know to make sure that you're as comfortable as you can possibly be on this ride. I feel it's really important to share my real experience that I had on this ride and I have to tell you, I was really nervous getting on it. As you approach the ride, the queue starts along this like wall, this pathway. And um, you can see from this footage here, oh man, you can see my face. I am so scared. You can see the terror on my face. It's so funny. It's funny now, but at the time I was terrified. Oh, just look at me. Oh, I was so super scared. Can you believe that expression on my face? I was absolutely terrified. You know, at that point when you're walking down that walkway, you can hear all the people screaming on the ride and it was just, oh my gosh, it was just scaring the bejeebers out of me. Take a look at the footage inside the building. The people who were in line to get on the ride did not seem half as scared as I was. Look at this guy right here. He's just leaning there on, on his phone, not concerned at all. And this girl, <laughs> she thinks I'm a total dweeb. You know, I was genuinely scared. I kind of wish I wasn't so scared when I was in line for this ride because the queue is so amazing, especially once you get inside of the lobby area. There's a tremendous amount of detail. I mean, the detail there is spectacular. It is just like a real hotel inside. I'm really looking forward to going back on this ride again in the future and really, really, really absorbing that whole atmosphere atmosphere and really taking in all the details of the theming. It's spectacular. Once you get through that queue in the lobby area, you're directed into what is supposed to be the hotel library. And this room is the room where they kind of tell you the story of the hotel and set the tone and set the story for the ride. As soon as they finish telling you the story about the Tower of Terror, the doors to the library open and you're led down a series of corridors that take you down into the boiler room of the hotel. And from there, you're led to a series of elevators. Now this boiler room is really realistic looking. It even feels kind of warm down there. Now here's a shot of the queue area for the elevators. There's sort of a holding area where they keep you before they start to assign you to the row on your elevator. Oh man, take a look at this room. Isn't this creepy looking? Before you get in line for this ride, they have signage that kind of gives you warnings, health warnings, things you need to be aware of before you get on the ride. But they have another sign just before you load into the vehicle to make sure that you've seen all the health warnings. Let's take a look at that sign. Twilight Zone Tower of Terror has high speed drops into dark, mysterious realm. You should be in good health and free from high blood pressure, heart, back or neck problems. You shouldn't have motion sickness or other conditions that can be aggravated by the ride. And expectant mothers should not ride. They want you to make sure you supervise your kids at all times. And you have to be 40 inches tall to ride this ride. 
You might have seen in the warning sign there that um, you're supposed to be able to transfer from an EVC or a wheelchair into the ride vehicle. I'm not 100% sure if you're allowed to use an EVC through the queue. Sometimes you are and sometimes you aren't. It's always best to check with a cast member before you get in line. I know that sometimes the policies about whether or not you can use an EVC in a line change from time to time. So I just think it's better if you ask a cast member when you get there. Another sign that's in that load area is load instructions. So let's go over that signage really quick and show you which seats I think are the most ideal for plus size people. In my opinion, the aisle seats on rows one, two, three, and four are the most comfortable for a plus size person. All of the other seats on the ride have a metal grab bar on the right and the left hand side of each seat. The metal grab bar is really small and it's very low. It probably wouldn't bother you all that much, but if you wanna be ultra comfortable, you want one of these aisle seats because if you're on the end, you only have a grab bar on one side of the seat. The side of the seat that's on the aisle has no grab bar and that means you have a little extra room on the end of your seat plus you're not squashed up between two people. As you can see from this slide, you have an aisle seat in row five and row six, but I think those do have a grab bar on the end. I'm not positive. These may be just fine. They may be like rows one, two, three, and four, but I'm not positive. I just couldn't get a clear picture or clear view of those seats. So if you wanna be absolutely sure to get an aisle seat that doesn't have a grab bar on the edge, make sure you ask to be seated in rows one, two, three or four on the aisle. Now you can see from this final slide here, I've drawn some squiggly lines on either side of the slide. The reason why is because if you are to sit as the first person in your row, you will be right up against the wall of the compartment. So you'll be squeezed in between another person and the wall, and you'll have a very tight and confining spot. I really do recommend that you specifically request an aisle seat if you want the most comfortable seat with the most amount of room. You might be wondering, well, how do I make sure I get one of those aisle seats? It's very simple. All you have to do is wait until the cast member asks you how many people are in your party. At that point, you can just request an aisle seat. Say something like, I would feel most comfortable sitting on the aisle. Can I please have an aisle seat? Whenever you ask politely like that, they're always super happy to accommodate. It's never an issue. Okay, so here I am actually boarding the ride with my friend Melanie. Again, it's a little shaky, but you can see as I'm approaching that seat, um, I go ahead and I am able to grab that yellow belt tag. And basically what I do here to get on this ride and belt in is what I do on any belted ride. Now the belt on this ride, like many of the other belted rides at Disney, is maybe like 10 feet long. The fit of the belt shouldn't be any issue on this ride whatsoever. What I like to do with this belt is just like I do with many other rides, I pull it all the way out, I grab the end of it, I hang on to the slack with the other hand. I turn around and put my back of my legs against the seat. I pivot my body a little bit and I look behind me. I plug the belt in, then I sit down and I get myself comfortable and I feed that slack back in and I make sure that the belt is nice and snug and it fits nice and tight so I feel secure. Here's something else very key that I wanna share with you about the seat belts on this ride. I personally have a very soft belly it's a low belly, a hanging belly, something that you might have heard called um, an apron belly, which means it hangs lower than my hips. So when I put on a safety belt like this one, what I try to do is I make sure the belt is up underneath my belly and more across my hips than on top of my tummy. That way I'm more secure inside the ride. It's especially key on this ride because you're doing those drops. You're dropping as though you're dropping down an elevator shaft. And when that happens, you're doing it at such a velocity that your arms and legs go up in the air. In fact, my purse, which weighed about 10 pounds, went up in the air and floated above my head. I had to grab it and pull it down so it wouldn't come down and knock me on the head. I still caught air on this ride. Even though I had that nice and snug against my hips, I still had about 
this much space, maybe like three inches between my bottom and the seat at some points. It wasn't really scary because the belt was super secure. I felt totally at ease and totally secure when that happened. But I imagine that if you left any looseness with that belt, you would catch a lot more air. You're not really gonna go anywhere except for up and then right back down. But, you know, it never hurts to make sure that belt is extra tight. Um, I have to say that this ride, the theming on it and the thrills are just a little notch above your regular average Disney ride. Um, if you have a little one who seems like they'd be really scared to get on this ride, if they're afraid of haunted houses and ghosts and things like that, if they're afraid of being in the dark, if you are scared of being in a confined space, if, you're, if you have like a fear of heights or dropping, this ride might not be the ride for you. But if you don't have any major fears or any major physical issues you are gonna love this ride it was so much fun and I cannot wait to do it again guys thank you so much for joining me on my very first ride for Tower of Terror I hope the information I shared in this video encourages you to try the ride because I know for a fact that you are going to enjoy the ride